chasing the police every single day. The Dallas County Grand Jury has returned an indictment against Amber Geiger for the offense of murder. The Dallas police officer was in uniform, but off duty last September when she shot and killed 26 year old Botham Jean, who was unarmed inside his apartment. Amber Geiger was arrested and charged with manslaughter. She told investigators she mistakenly entered the wrong apartment and thought there was a burglar inside her home. We prepared this case to the grand jury. We talked to over 300 witnesses and we did all kind of lab testing in preparation to present a case to the grand jury. The Dallas County District Attorney explained why the grand jury decided to charge Geiger with murder over manslaughter, saying murder constitutes someone intentionally and knowingly committing a crime, whereas manslaughter involves recklessly doing something. We're not contending what she, what may have happened, what was in her mind before. Only thing we're saying that at the moment of this shooting, it was an intentional and knowing offense. In an emotional press conference Friday, Jean's mother said she was satisfied with the grand jury's decision. Because I truly believe that she inflicted tremendous evil on my son. He didn't deserve it. He was seated in his own apartment. He felt safe in that apartment and he was violated by her coming in and murdering him. Geiger's attorney was disappointed, but not surprised by the murder indictment, given what he called an outpouring of vindictive emotion in a statement late Friday. This is a terrible tragedy that resulted from a true mistake, he said. We are confident that a dispassionate jury in a fair forum will objectively apply the law to the facts and find Amber not guilty. I look forward to the next step, which is a conviction of murder of Amber Geiger, and more so of a penalty, the proper penalty that will cause her to reflect on what she has done and the pain that she has caused. CNN was granted access to tour Jean's apartment shortly after the shooting. In the chilling video, you see a bullet hole in the wall, indicated by an evidence marking, laundry piled on the couch, and Botham's half-eaten bowl of cereal with milk still in it. Now, two months after the shooting, there are still more questions than answers as the case moves to the courthouse. This is uh, groundbreaking, uh, but it is also just a start. A charge of murder carries a sentence of up to life in prison, and Jean's parents filed a separate lawsuit in federal court against Geiger in the city last month, alleging Geiger used excessive force. Kaylee Hartung, CNN. A former Dallas police officer is now facing a murder charge after she was accused of shooting and killing an unarmed black man a few months ago. Officer Amber Geiger was off duty when she entered a neighbor's apartment and fatally shot Botham Jean in his home. Geiger told investigators she entered the wrong apartment by mistake and thought Jean was an intruder. The incident set off outrage and protests all over the country. A lawsuit filed by Botham Jean's parents Friday claims former Dallas police officer Amber Geiger used excessive force when she gunned down their son in his own apartment, later saying she mistook it as her own. There were so many signals that a reasonable police officer would have been uh, alerted to. Lee Merritt, the Jean family's attorney, talking about signals stated in the lawsuit. It claims that Jean's apartment, the door would have not produced the identical chime Geiger hears daily at her own apartment. The light at the keyhole would have flashed red, indicating to Geiger that her key did not match the lock. And the lawsuit claims Geiger attempted to cover up for shooting Jean, making certain comments to Jean knowing she was being recorded. And she did not render aid to Jean after she shot him. Merritt also brings up her Pinterest account mentioned in the lawsuit. She brags about her propensity for violence. Uh, she brags about uh, the use of deadly force. This, and, and, and in doing so, she violated the uh, departmental procedures. John's parents are also suing policymakers. The mayor, the city council, the, the police chief, who are responsible for training those officers and, and who are responsible for disciplining them when they're, when they're engaged in misconduct. The lawsuit claims there is a practice or custom regarding the use of deadly force in DPD to shoot first and ask questions later. 
The family is hoping that a significant punitive judgment will cost the city of Dallas itself to begin to reconsider the policies that it has. Hey, Sheriff County, this is Sheriff County Cop Watch. I am using any video here with under fair use if you uh, have criticism, reporting, teaching, etc. And please donate. I do not make money from YouTube. And uh, there are different ways to donate in the uh, video links. Thanks.